A woman charged in the drowning death of her eight month old son is pleading not guilty. 22 year old or 23 year old Olivia Miller of Sparta Township is facing charges of involuntary manslaughter and second degree child abuse. 13 on your side's Trevor Gonzalez was there for her arraignment. Following the hearing, we were able to pick up an officer's report of what they say they responded to. Now, this happened the day before Thanksgiving, and she was just now charged. The biggest piece of evidence they mention is the defendant's cell phone and the record of what she was doing with it ahead of this child's death. Now, according to that report, Miller apparently gave officers differing stories of what had happened, but one that they noted was that her eight-month-old baby had been placed in a bathtub sitting up and facing the faucet, and that the water was only a few inches deep. Miller then left the water running and went to the next door room to move her laundry over. She says she then came back five minutes later to find her son floating face up and submerged in water. Miller then called 911, but they mentioned prior to that phone call that the defendant had, quote, consistent phone activity, even mentioning that the device had been used for 21 minutes, very different from what that five minutes she had originally mentioned. Still, her attorney says that all the evidence is not yet out and that her client is innocent and hurting. There's no indication of intentionality here, and that's important to point out. This is a tragic situation. She suffered tremendously emotionally from the death of her child. She loves that child. I've been inside that house. There are photographs all over that house of her, the father, with that child. They're very responsible. Miller was visibly emotional during the hearing. At one point, she does look up to the camera and wipe her face. Although her attorney had fought for Miller to be released under a personal recognizance bond, a judge instead set a cash surety bond at $300,000. Olivia is expected to be back in court next month. In the newsroom, Trevor Gonzalez, 13 on your side.